Let's get back to Chief Meteorologist Bobby Deskins. Now, Bobby, let's keep moving this thing west. Laura, get this out of our hair so we don't have to deal with it next week. <laughs> Lots of people on my Facebook are saying slide to the left is what they wanted to happen. And that is what's happening. Uh, let's start with the big picture because, guys, it's not often you see this. Two cones. Two forecast tracks headed into the Gulf of Mexico at the same time. 1933, we had a tropical storm go into Cedar Key, and at the same time, a hurricane was going into Brownsville, Texas. 1959, we had two as well, too. We may not end up with two hurricanes this time, depending on how Marco does. I'm not going to mention this other than to say it only has about a 20% chance of developing. We ain't got time to deal with that, so we're going to go ahead and mess with the st important stuff, right? 13th name storm is Marco. Laura was formed earlier this morning around 9 o'clock uh, with Recon that went out there. And that's what I was telling you how it changed from the old center to the new center. That's what Recon found. And it was organized enough and winds were at 40 miles per hour at that time. So that's where we're at right now. So the new forecast tracks have shifted southward as a result. And the latest as of 11 o'clock, so has the intensity. You see these numbers have come down a little bit. They were saying 60, 65 mile per hour winds, but it was hugging the coast of the islands. Now it's going over the center of the islands. And that's not good for hurricanes. So this thing's going to be struggling. I do think once it gets into the Gulf, though, it has a better chance. In fact, even the Florida Straits just south of Key West, those waters, very warm and has a better chance of getting stronger. Now, this is the wind forecast for us 2 o'clock on Monday. 30, 40 mile per hour winds down towards Miami. Certainly a possibility, especially for the Keys out of the southeast. And we'll start with east winds, then southeast. That is not a storm surge threat for us. It's blowing all the water out. That's really good news. Uh, but look at there's some decent winds out there. That's Monday night. Then as we get into Tuesday morning, the wind starts to turn a little more southeast and then a little south southeast at times on Tuesday afternoon. And I say that just because that's a longshore current and that can cause some erosion. Still not much of a storm surge threat. That's Tuesday afternoon. Things are already starting to calm down when this goes by. We will have some outer rain bands, just more tropical moisture than anything else. And there will be a small chance for an isolated tornado. That'll be Monday night into Tuesday morning. That's Tropical Storm Marco. You can see right in here, it was forecast earlier to be a hurricane. It's only five miles per hour away from it. So we'll see what happens. But it's going in towards anywhere in that southeast coast of Texas. So let's talk about wind speed probabilities and timing. This is for Marco. And notice landfall somewhere around Tuesday in the morning, right? Keep that in mind because that's Marco. This is Laura landfall in Louisiana sometime around Wednesday morning at eight o'clock. So it's 24 hours difference, kind of a one, two punch for this entire area, Texas over through Louisiana. We'll just have to wait and see our chances for tropical storm force winds down to 4% in Tampa, 16% in Fort Myers. That number for Tampa was as high as 20, 25%. I think at one point that's obviously coming down watches and warnings. We have Tropical storm warnings now through the Turks and Caicos, southern Bahamas, central Bahamas now actually dealing with tropical storm watches and the Yucatan Peninsula. This is what's saving Florida. This is high pressure is building westward at, and, and the, that storm will go right underneath it. And especially if it builds westward, it builds over top of us, helps to push everything off towards the west. And that's exactly what we needed here in Florida. Not good news for our friends back out to the west. Rainfall, look at some of these totals. I, again, I think it's a one-two punch. There's going to be some very heavy rainfall somewhere in parts of Texas, but I think Louisiana more than anything else. So, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> we're going to wait and see what happens. We've got plenty of rain here. Look at this, guys. It's weakening. There's no severe weather out there. There's no thunderstorms really at this point, but there are some offshore. But we've got a jet stream over top of us, and so we're going to keep some rain overnight. And then I think eventually we'll start to gradually clear things out through mid-morning tomorrow.